importing your work cell to Robot Studio from SolidWorks. In this video, we'll go through how to take a work cell that you've developed in SolidWorks, saved as an SAT, and import it into Robot Studio, as well as grabbing a conveyor that you've created and lining them all up so it looks a lot like what we have in the robotics lab. In addition to this, we're also going to go through how to change the colors and textures on your imported objects so that they look a little bit more like what you actually have. Let's get started. So this is one of the simulations that we created in a past video. Um, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go to my import geometry and demo files. This is a file that I've put all of my geometries that I've built into. And I'm going to use the demo cell with conveyor. Now a couple things to mention, just keep in mind that the file extension that you want to use for this is a .sat. And you'll notice when I import this one, it automatically imports almost in the right spot. So if I pan around here a little bit, you can notice that those two rails there are kind of sitting right underneath. The work cell or the frame sits a little bit back from the pedestal that the robot is mounted on. And everything kind of sits right where it should. Now, the reason that this happens is because I have built my cell in SolidWorks with the origin aligning to the origin that my simulation was based off of. And if you remember from a previous videos that we were doing, I built the origin of my frame, the front bottom center of my frame, to be essentially the uh, reference point in my entire work cell. So we've got that frame in there. Now let's bring in a conveyor. And I've created my conveyor here. Demo conveyor. And we're going to put this demo conveyor, we're going to put one with the back side lining up with the back side of this aluminum frame and the other one with the front side of it lining up with the front side of this aluminum frame. So let's go about doing this now. So I'm going to rename this. I'm going to name this my back conveyor. I'm going to right click and rename. Oh, help if you could spell. Rear conveyor, there we go. And we're going to right click on it, go to position, rotate. And I want to rotate around the local origin. This is the origin of the object that I'm trying to rotate. And I want to rotate around the Z axis because I want to bring this end over here. So we're going to rotate that by 90 degrees. There we go. And then hit close. And now I'm going to zoom into my conveyor. And since this is going to be the back conveyor, I'm going to start by taking this conveyor itself. And I'm going to get this face lined up with this face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have surface selection picked. And I'm going to right click on my rear conveyor go to position, place, and I want to place with one point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to try and grab this flat face here on the leg of the conveyor. So I've got my primary point selected. Now I can zoom out. And I'm going to try and get this pretty close. So I'm going to pan around a little bit here. And I'm going to select my secondary point to make sure that I've got the full face here selected. And I want to move this in the Y direction, X direction, and Z direction. So I'm going to leave all of these selected and go apply. There we go. Now we're pretty close. Now here's a cool thing about these checkboxes. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put the bottom of this on top of this surface. So I'm going to select my points. I'm going to grab my from point first, or sorry, my to point first. Then I'm going to pan underneath here and grab my from point. 
And then because I only want to move this up, I already have the side of it lined up. I'm going to turn off the move in the Z. And I'm going to turn off the move in the X and say apply. And now my conveyor has moved up and the bottom of the conveyor is sitting on this surface. So next I need to take this back side and line it up with the back of this. So I'm going to turn off Z and I want to only move in the X. I'm going to grab my from point being this surface and my two point, see if I can get in here and get the surface there. Notice how the blue bounds is going around the large flat surface. Then we're going to say apply. And now when I zoom out, my conveyor is now sitting where I want it to be. So let's go ahead and do that once more. We're going to bring in another conveyor. Take this conveyor and we're going to rename it. Front conveyor. Ninety degrees around Z. I'm going to use a quick little trick because I'm using the exact same conveyor and I have this surface here and this surface here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab and say that I want to snap on the surface and I want to snap on, let's see here, let's use snap center. So now I'm going to say I want my from point and my two point and I want everything to be lined up except for the X. So I want to take it by the Y and the Z and we're going to go apply. And now the reason that I did that is if we pan, you'll notice it's lined up on this edge and vertically. Now all I have to do is do one movement in the X so from this surface here, and I can turn off my snap mid to this surface here, or not apply, and close, and there we go. We've got our conveyors all lined up. And it looks pretty close to what we have in our actual work cell. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a hold of these conveyors. And I want to make them look a little bit more like a conveyor or like our conveyor in our lab. So I'm going to grab the all the legs here on my rear conveyor. And I grab, oops, press and hold control, and we can select all the legs. Those legs I know are aluminum. So I'm going to right click on this, and we're going to go set color. I'm going to find something that looks a little bit kind of like aluminum. Say OK. There we go. Now we've got some aluminum legs holding our conveyor up. I'm going to grab the flat surfaces because, actually, you know what? I'm going to grab the whole body for the conveyor belt portion. And I'm going to set its color. We're going to grab some, grab a yellow. It's kind of a darker yellow. So we're going to go there, say OK. There we go. 
And then lastly, the sides aren't yellow, they're aluminum. So I'm going to grab each of these sides by holding control. I need to pan around a little bit. Press and hold shift to select multiple items. Then right click on this. I'm going to say set color back to that aluminum shape. Let's go to a slightly lighter. There we go. Now we zoom out. Looks like we've got some conveyors there. Our pedestal itself is all one color. It's all painted black. So let's grab our frame, right click on it. Graphic appearance. And we're gonna pick black. We're gonna go to define custom. And we're just gonna go a little bit lighter than complete black. Say okay. Yeah, that looks good. All right. There we go. So far, so good. Our cell looks pretty accurate, except for this weird anomaly with this controller sitting kind of halfway through. So now, let's go in and let's move this controller. The thing to keep in mind about the controller itself is that this IRC5 Compact doesn't really have any surfaces to grab, so it's a little bit challenging to move around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a hold here and I'm going to turn off my surf. No, I'm going to leave surface selection on. Sorry. I'm going to right click and we're going to place one point. I'm going to try and grab this side. Rotate around. And I'm going to go place. I'm going to pick this point here. Apply. There we go. We're pretty close. Now we need to just fix the bottom foot. So I'm going to zoom in. Grab the foot itself. And I'm going to grab for my two point. I'm going to grab the top there. And I only want to move it in the Z. And you know what? That looks pretty good. So let's get everything back in our frame. Close out. And there we go. That is aligning and getting your work cell to look much like your actual work cell in the robotics lab. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.